my diary entry for today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to sew this circle skirt dress. In my previous video, I showed you how to make the pattern for this dress. So be sure to check that video out first before watching this video. Now, what is not to love about this dress? It came out looking just the way I saw it on the lady who was my inspiration for the design. Simple and elegant. And then the pick bow at the back just takes it to another whole level in my book of conservative revealing dresses. I feel like I can wear this dress anywhere, be it work or church with a jacket over it, out with friends or just going dancing. All right then, go ahead and grab all your grabby bowls and let's get started. Now don't forget to subscribe so that you are tuned in, turn on your notifications so that you are locked in, give this video as many likes as you can if you want to see more of these kind of videos from me, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is Ijoma and welcome to my sewing diary. The materials you will need are your fabric of choice. I used four yards of this lovely crepe fabric that had a little bit of stretch to it. I'll be lining the top only with the same fabric. You'll also need a little less than a yard of interface, measuring tape, fabric scissors, pins, buttons, sewing and basting thread, needle, invisible zip, and your manipulator pattern. I'll leave the full list as well as all associated links in the description box below. Cut your fabric according to the instructions on your pattern. You'll be cutting your waistband on interface and main fabric. As said earlier, I'll be lining the top part only and we'll be using the same main fabric for that. So in this case, I'll be cutting double the instructions on these ones only. Mark 1 8 inch wide notch marks at all same intersections and asterisk marks made. So we'll put the bodies together first and then work on the skirt. So starting with the front bodies, transfer your bust points with pins like so. So you want to insert the pins and then carefully remove the pattern paper while making sure the pins are still in place. With your tailor's chalk, go ahead and mark your bust points like so on the wrong side. Then pin your darts for sewing by pinning your bust point and the bottom notch marks made at the side and waist. At the bottom waist part, you need to be careful with the notch marks and make sure you are pinning the waist dart notch mark and not your joining notch mark. You can refer to the pattern for reference. Do this for both the lining and main pieces and then go ahead and sew your bust and waist darts, pressing the waist dart to the center front and the bust dart down after sewing. Transfer your back dart as you did the front. I'll be using the original back dart mark and not the extended one. My plan is to modify it if need be. Then go ahead and pin your dart and sew your dart down, pressing to the center back afterwards. 
Now you should also fuse a two and a half inches wide interface at the wrong side of the center back of your lining piece to stabilize your buttons. I'll be fusing mine later on in the video. Then with right side on right side, Go ahead and join your front and back pieces of your main and lining at the shoulder line and sides with pins stopping half an inch away from the bottom of the side. Sew all pin areas with a half inch seam allowance, pressing your seam allowance open afterwards. When you're done, with right side on right side, Pin the lining and main pieces at the neckline and back bottom only. And sew all pinned areas with the half inch seam allowance. Then trim all sewn seam allowance and understitch your trim seam allowance to the lining piece. Turn your garment to the right side and it should look like this. So if you're using the same fabric for lining like I have, you need to make sure you are under stitching the same piece at the neckline and back bottom. The front bottom seam allowance should be unsewn for attachment to the waistband. Now to add the sleeves. First mark half an inch up from the hem of your sleeve and a further half an inch up from the first mark. Fold and pin at the first half inch mark and give it a good press to create fold lines. And then fold and pin at the second mark, enclosing the first one, and give it another press to keep it in place. Sew the sleeve hem down at the inner edge with a 1 8 of an inch seam allowance. With right side on right side, pin the side of each sleeve together and stitch with a half inch seam allowance pressing your seam allowance open afterwards. Run a loose stitch a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the sleeve head to gather the sleeve head so that it fits into the armhole. And then with right side or right side, connect the sleeve to the corresponding armhole by matching the notches made on the sleeve. Recall it was two for the back and one for the front. I've also basted my lining and main armhole on the bodice to keep it in place. So first pin the crown notch on the sleeve to the shoulder line of the bodice and the side sleeve to the side bodice. Then adjust the sleeve head with a loose stitch made so that it fits into the armhole, pinning all the way around. After pinning, go ahead and baste the sleeve to the armhole so that it does not move while sewing. Do this for both sides and stitch the sleeve to the armhole with a half inch seam allowance. As I said before, I was supposed to have added interface at the center back of the lining piece prior to sewing, but only just added mine now. Now we close the back. So on each side of the center back, first mark half an inch in, and then a further one inch in. Fold, pin, and press down at the first half inch mark, and then fold, pin and press down at the one inch mark. Then go ahead and stitch down at the inner edge with a one eighth of an inch seam allowance, pressing down afterwards. Set this aside while we prepare the skirt. Starting with the flounce for the skirt, with right side and right side, pin the bottom of the flounce pieces together, stopping half an inch away from the end. Sew all pinned areas with the half inch seam allowance and trim your seam allowance afterwards. Turn your flounce to the right side and sew the open edge together with a 1 8 to a quarter of an inch seam allowance and using a zigzag stitch. Ideally, I would overlock them together but my zigzag stitch was also okay. Then on the right side of your front skirt piece, pin the flounce from one end to the other with the bulk of the flounce facing the top of the skirt like so. Now you can play around with the shape. The only thing you need to ensure is that it goes from one end to the other 
with the sides being part of the side of the skirt. Stitch the flounce down at all pinned areas with a half inch seam allowance and it should look like this. With right side on right side and matching notches, join the front and back pieces at the side with pins and then sew all pinned areas with a half inch seam allowance. Pressing your seam allowance open afterwards. Fuse your interface on the waist pieces and then pin one of the waist pieces right side on right side and matching notches on the skirt piece. The bulk of the waist piece should be on the bulk of the skirt piece. Go ahead and pin from one end to the other and sew all pinned areas with a half inch seam allowance. Pressing the seam allowance open afterwards and trimming the sewn seam allowance to a quarter of an inch. At the center back, first mark where you would like your zip to stop on each side and then starting with one side and one inch away from the center back edge, pin your zip down by placing right side on right side with the bulk of your zipper tees facing the fabric. Do the same for the other side. So you will be pinning and sewing your zip on the waistband too. And the top of the zip head should start half an inch in from the top of the skirt. Then go ahead and sew your zip down close to the zipper tees and close the bottom as well. Press down after sewing. Now we'll join the remaining waistband and bodice parts to the skirt piece. So first of all, on the wrong side of the second waistband piece, fold and press your bottom half inch seam allowance. Then pin your front bodice to the front part of the skirt with right side on right side and matching notches. When you're done, pin the top part of the waistband that is the part where we did not fold, to the pinned skirt and bodice piece and from center back to center back. Stitch all pinned areas down with the half inch seam allowance and also stitch the center back of the waistband to the center back of the skirt like so. Press the sewn seam allowance open and trim to a quarter of an inch. Then we'll be closing the waistband by stitching in the ditch of the front waistband seam. So close the waistband at the back such that it just covers the sewn seam and hold it down with pins at the front. Then go ahead and stitch inside the stitch line at the front waistband such that it captures the back waistband. Do this from center back to center back. Now we create the buttonholes. So with the center back of your bodice closed and on one side of the center back, first mark half an inch down from the top. And then subsequent points should be two and a half inches down from the previous until you get to the end. Transfer the marks to both sides and then create your buttonhole on one side and sew your buttons on the other side. Then go ahead and clean all raw edges. So after cleaning the raw edge at the hem, I liked the way it looked and decided to leave as is. And you're done! So I shared a picture of this dress before posting this video and I'm now trying to make time to make it for a couple of friends. Now you can make yours and also make some for a couple of your friends too. Now, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on all my diary entries. I post videos every week. And also give this video many likes if you want to see more of this kind of videos from me. And let me know if you have any questions whatsoever in the comment section below. Until next week, see you later. Bye.